Hello, we are Group 1. My name is Sam Hin and my group members are Cindy, Emily and Stephanie. In this video, we are going to talk about the impacts of mega sporting events on tourism industry. The research method that we use is secondary research. Before that, let me go through the list of content for these presentations. It starts with introductions and research objective, then the three impacts that we are going to talk about, followed by two theories and it ends with conclusion. The area that we are looking at is event tourism. According to Zarotis 2021, event tourism is specially staged or highlighted events or events of limited durations with tourist appeal. In another word, event tourism is big and temporary events that attracts tourist arrival. In this research, out of so many types of events, we are just focusing on sports tourism. Based on IDRIS 2021, sports events are said to be gain increased attention due to its social, economic and cultural impacts on the host countries. The direction of our findings will be based on mega sporting events, which mega sporting events is labeled according to a few criteria, such as the number of attendees and viewers, the number of TV transmission hours, and the number of people who follow an event on the internet, print media, and radio. The examples of mega sporting events are Olympic Games, FIFA World Cup, and Super Bowl. The research objectives are to determine the impacts of mega sporting events on tourism industry of the host countries, to evaluate the relationship between impacts and sports tourism, and to determine the theories and frameworks of impacts in the event tourism. I'll pass the presentations to Cindy for the first impact. Thank you, Simon, for passing to me. I'm Cindy, and I'll be presenting about the findings on economic impact. Based on the slide, the first journal evaluates the future potential of sailing and yachting event in enhancing Malta's tourist economy. The methodology used is qualitative and case study research, where they collect qualitative data samples, selection of interview from race participants, and key stakeholders associated with the Rolex Middle Sea Yacht Race (RMSR). The finding shows that all key organizers engaged with event activities reported positive feedback in terms of economic benefit. As the development of blue economy contributes to strengthening the recognition of sailing and yachting, it transforms a traditional tourist destination and provides an international platform that rebrand local destination image and stimulates an alternative tourist economy. Secondly, according to Reid Halls, the economic impacts of mega sports events can be viewed from different perspectives, which this study focuses on the relationship between UEFA Europe in Poland and the decision taken by respective authorities. SMEs. The question-based survey had been conducted under direct interview with a sample set of 300. The mega sports eventuary's legacy is largely positive. From the economic point of view, it is interesting to look at the infrastructure that was built for the event. This changes the flow of the SME sectors, although the results of the results present in the article indicates the exceptional restraint in this regards. Thirdly, it is considered to be privileged for the developing countries to host mega sports events, which the journal investigates the impacts of sport tourism on the economic growth in developed nations, especially India. Ordinarily, square technique was used to cover from 1990s to 2016 from the data bank of World Bank. As the increase in numbers of tourism and increased investment in the tourist industry that become an important source for the economic progress, it actually generates revenue and job opportunity and economic development of a nation. Hence, hosting mega sports events contributes towards stimulating the growth of India's economy. Next, the fourth journal analyzed the structural patterns of Brazilian monthly tourist revenue over the course of 20 years. All data from December 1995 to September 2016 are systematic collect and reviewed from Brazilian Central Bank website. Then, fractional integration is used to analyze the change. Finding shows of the economic growth in Brazil over the last 20 years has resulted in multiple improvements in terms of physical infrastructure, which of the relevance of having financial sustainable sports mega events was obscured by fluctuating exchange rate. For the fifth journal, this study consists the economic impact of hosting annual international sporting event, specifically the extent to which Formula 1, ATP tennis, PGA, golf can attract international tourists. It uses box genetics and various models to detect a great deal of underlying behavior with the tourism. As the result of every country is marked differently, suggested that countries do not receive the same level of tourism info from hosting the same event sports. And the choice of sports to host can also lead to different outcomes. 
Lastly, the last publication talks about both mega sports event and special economic zones, which the journal evaluates the impacts of mega event and observe imaging pattern of the most country. Using the qualitative mixed patterns with both documents, reviews, and interview, the finding were that mega sports event disrupt the urban development of the city due to the high economic cost of the preparation, as the immediate cost of developing event hosting infrastructure came in the cost of long term legal manipulation. So, that is actually all from me, and I would like to pass the presentation to Emily. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Hello, I'm Emily Lim and I'm going to present the findings of environmental impacts. So the purpose of the first journal was to examine the negative environmental impacts of mega sporting events. The research method was qualitative interview synthesized with literature review. The authors conducted a 20 to 40 minute virtual interview with 15 experts from various backgrounds and sectors. The finding shows that unprincipled constructions and poor quality infrastructures are the most prominent negative impacts in mega sporting events. The main suggestion is to implement energy conserving technologies such as wind or biomass generated energy. Next, the second publication was from Cerezo Esteve et al. The journal aimed to review the environmental impact of major sport events from 2000 to 2021. After systematically reviewing 79 publications, 26 of the papers concluded that mega sport events have positive environmental impacts, and four of the reviews were inconclusive. 49 publications concluded that megasport events bring more negative environmental impacts. The third publication was from Kershulik et al. The journal aimed to review and systemize the impacts of sport tourism in achieving event sustainability. The authors used systematic literature review to conduct their research as well. They reviewed 77 papers. A notable finding of this journal is that 21 of the reviewed journal determined that mega sport events have positive environmental impacts and 11 of them concluded it has negative impacts. So compared to the previous publication from Cerezo Esteve et al, the findings were opposite, which was the mega sport events bring more negative impacts than the positive ones. The opposing results may be because this journal researches on three dimensions of impacts, which were economic, social, cultural, and environmental from secondary research and the previous publication focuses solely on environmental impacts and conducted qualitative research from experts opinion which were more in depth when it comes to determine the negative and positive environmental impacts of mega sport events to the tourism industry the fourth journal aimed to determine if there's a possibility of applying cf method in sport tourism cf method refers to the methodology to calculate the amount of carbon emission produced by location activity, individual, or a group. The journal mentioned that transportation is the activity that produces the most carbon dioxide in the sport tourism industry. The authors discovered that majority of the publications are theoretical or conceptual based, which means the carbon footprint method needs to be further explored when it comes to applying it to the sport tourism sector. So the fifth publication that was reviewed was from Lim et al. The purpose of the research was to reviewed and conceptualized the implementation of green sport tourism because implementing green events have the largest potential to minimize the negative impacts of sport tourism. Through systematically reviewing more than 50 academic literature, they determined that the environmental impacts such as noise and light pollution, excessive solid waste and also the emission of greenhouse gases can be reduced if all the event stakeholders engage in implementing green practices. The last journal focuses on evaluating the Olympic Games from 1992 to 2020. The research was conducted longitudinally, which means the subject was observed and evaluated over a period of time. After implementing the 16 Olympic Games into a conceptual sustainability model, the indicator shows that all Olympic Games have medium sustainable level, despite the claim of them being more and more sustainable. This indicates that mega sport events shall put more effort in enhancing their sustainability. So that's all from me. I would like to pass the presentation to Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Hi, my name is Stephanie. Now I'll be presenting the social impacts and the theory and frameworks. First of all, the first journal is to review the perception and predisposition towards the sports tourism perspective. The methodology used for these journals was partially square methodology. In the finding, it shows that the result had showed the social impact does not support the tourism development. This is because it might cause generate social problems such as crime, drug abuse in the whole city. Next, the second journal is about the mega para sporting event social impacts perceived by Tokyo residents comparison of the residents' vitality. 
revealed that it is to examine the relationship between the residents, perceive the social impacts and supporting intention. The research method of this journal was confirmatory analysis and qualitative research and the sample size would be 487. For the finding, it shows that the social impacts can be changed with the resident's attitude where it can bring positivity to the social impacts. Furthermore, the third journal by Mayor et al. 2021, his research purpose of this journal is to acknowledge the state of social costs and benefit of the mega events. The method used was systematic literature review and the conclusion of this journal was to establish the social impacts and new impacts warrant studies as social changes whereby it shows that it can come up with both positive and negative results from how the resident proceed. The example of the positive impacts will be volunteering at a mega event results in a positive social legacy and promotes continued volunteering after the conclusion of the event for the people while the negative impacts would be the social capital, particularly if the event creates congestion, noise, increased crime, or antisocial behavioral and cultural conflicts will affect the host country. Next, the fourth journal would examine the effect of tourist mega sports event experience. It is a conceptual model in this methodology whereby the results show that it is an experimental approach and there are positive effect of the host country where it where the social impacts were able to affect the host country positively by high correlation between the host country with the experience perceived and the mega sports event experience perception was expected by the infrastructure activities and entertainment in the event now moving on would be the theory and frameworks First of all, we have social representative theory known as SRT that is a theory of social knowledge. This is highly relevant to the event context because the theory is specifically concerned with how individual groups and community collective make sense of the social relevant or problematic issue, idea and practices. When the group encounter a new social issue or phenomena, this mechanism functions as the reference point seeking to a familiar comparison against one's own prior knowledge based on the past experience and social interaction which is applicable in event management because one of the main objectives of this event is to provide platform or occasion for people who share the same interests or similarities to interact and exchange knowledge or experience. The advantage of SRT are to help people make sense of their material and social world around them while the disadvantage would be social representative can be volatile and transform over time. Next would be the theory of change. The TOC is related impact which is one of the variables in our topic. It explains that the change of input can lead to a series of output, outcome and impact a wider spectrum of expect. As an example of the event management context, investing effort is organizing an event is input and the output can be considered as the process of executing the event. An outcome can be impact of the event stakeholder. The benefit of TOC would be flexible, allowed to have multiple casual pathway, also able to articulate the evidence and achieve precondition. Also for the disadvantage of TOC would be hard to operationalize the true ownership for, uh, due to short periods of the explanation of the concept. To add on, pastor analysis are the external factors that can impact an event, which are political, economic, social, technologies, and environmentally. Same goes to SWOT analysis, which are internal factors that can affect the event, which are the strength, weaknesses, opportunity, and threat. That is all from me now. I will pass the conclusion part to Sam Hin. Based on all journals reviewed, we can determine that the research objectives of this topic have been achieved. Sports events have more positive impacts on tourism industry, such as the increase of tourist visiting, benefits the hotel, tourism destinations and restaurants, and also boosts overall economy. On the other hand, environmental impacts are shown to have more negative impact, for example, pollution, carbon footprints, and infrastructures. Lastly, Mega sporting events generate more positive social impacts than negative impacts, such as the increase in local interests and participations, and strengthens regional values and traditions. That is all for our presentations. Thank you for listening.